When you've got no power, it's breakfast on a barbecue. I've fallen back on a lot of uh, skills learned in girl guides in elementary school, so that's been fun. More than 90% of islanders have been without electricity for two days. We've prepared well for 48 hours, modestly for 72 hours, but after that we really need f uh, fresh food and heat. This was the first day it's been safe enough for Maritime Electric to survey its transmission lines and poles, which snapped like matchsticks. When might power be restored? I would be misleading if I gave you an answer. Gas is also in short supply, prompting long lineups for precious petrol for cars and home generators. A lot of people are out of it right now and trying to, people are phoning from all over trying to see if we got, if we're open. Fallen trees line the roads. Historic storm surge sucked away parts of bridges. Boats tossed from the ocean on top of what used to be wharves. Cottages have been smashed apart. This barn ripped open as though by a giant can opener, now a write-off. If you look from the other side, I mean, both ends of the barn are completely gone. Um, and all the, win all the winter's hay, which was just put in, you know, over the last month, is gone. Gone too, this shop that used to sell work from local artists. Now people pull some of its wares from the muck, carefully laid here as a little tribute. I've been kind of adding stuff, like, as I find it. North Rustico Harbour, an important gateway for some 30 lobster boats, pulverized. It's crazy, it's just like permanent, permanent damage, like shoreline's just, it's not going to be the same after this. I don't know if, they won't be getting the boats out this year. So Katie, getting power restored on PEI is obviously the priority right now. What else do we know about that and then the cleanup in the days ahead? So there is some good news. A hundred military personnel arriving tonight to help with that cleanup. And uh, that should help with the restoration of power. But right now it's only the hospital grid and anything, a small pocket really, that has power restored. We're far from business as usual here. Uh, schools are closed Monday and Tuesday and people are coming up on the back end of that 72 hours for which they were told to be prepared. Adrian? All right, Katie, thanks to you and Martin there. We appreciate it.